spontaneous video unscripted today to show you how to install AutoPack and EPMV plugins for 3D Studio Max version 2013 and only works in the 64-bit version for now. So let's get started. I'm going to begin by helping our uh, early alpha testers out to show you how to remove the original uh, plugins that we had for you to make sure you're starting with a clean slate. So let's quit 3D Studio Max and just go to the auto pack page and click on the install link. We want to follow the Autodesk installation instructions. So to begin with this cleanup, I'm just going to scroll down and look at what has been done before. And I see that I put a bunch of files into these Autodesk specific folders. So let's go in and, and pull those out. Just moving to the hard drive here under program files, Autodesk 3D Studio Max. So from top to bottom, let's just clear out the bin assemblies where we had placed these two UPI files and for now I'm just going to drag these to the desktop to get rid of them. We'll back out of the bin and if you're one of the earliest alpha testers you had installed MGL Tools packages under plugins here. So remove that. And if you're one of the later alpha testers, you would have put that in a different place and I'll show you how to find that file as well to remove it. So while that's working, I think it's safe for me to come out here and we'll find Max Plus and Max PYD. Pull those out. And then I'm just going to type M to speed my way down to find the max plus Python file and the compiled Python file and get rid of those. Because we're going to install brand new versions of all these and I just want to make sure that my plugins are indeed clear. Okay. So let's start another folder and this is where you're going to place files and if you're an early alpha tester you have to clear some files out of here as well. I'm not a Windows user so be patient with me. I need to get to the user folder. In my case I'm the administrator of this Amazon machine which is why things are moving a little slow. I'm working on a virtual machine on the cloud from my Macintosh and you cannot see this folder and this is this is detailed in the instructions so we need to get to this folder described right here username app data local autodesk so let's just copy and paste the tail end of this and we'll drop it after which brings us to where we need to be. Now many of you will have placed a plugins folder here so if you see plugins which I do not have it would be listed right here just grab it as we did the other ones and drag it out to your desktop so that's how we're going to start with the clean install and I'll come back to show you how to begin the installation process itself. Thank you.